everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome so today we are doing a full face of first impressions on some higher end products so i have quite a few products that i'm going to try there's one product that is not deemed as high end and it's going to be a primer but that's because I haven't purchased a high-end primer in God knows how long. Um, yeah, I'm actually filming this on like Christmas Day because um, number one, I don't celebrate Christmas and two, my husband is at work. So I'm sitting here by myself and I am thought I'd just like film some videos and chat with you guys. So yeah, let's get on with the primer. So we're going in with the Beauty Crop Avocado Poreless Primer. And I actually got this at the Beauty Outlet a couple of days ago. Um, Cause yeah, Beauty Crop is like kind of getting everywhere now. But then when it comes to the Beauty Outlet, it's kind of a bit difficult because that place has a lot of old, old products and they have products there that don't even exist on beauty crop anymore there was things that i was like i don't even like i've never seen that before or they're products that i have not seen in a very very long time because beauty crop have really kind of changed their brand slightly since when they started out and they're getting so much more out there and bigger um but i've been wanting to try this kind of avocado primer in ages and i think i got it for about three four pounds and it's the xl size i don't know if they do i'm pretty sure they still do this version um but yeah it's definitely smells of kind of like avocados but i know that beauty crop are now getting just like big everywhere especially on tiktok like everyone is getting big on tiktok like it's such like the main place to go especially for brands um but yeah, I'm going to give that a moment to kind of like settle in. So now we're going to go on to foundation. So we're going to go in with the Danessa Myrick Yummy Skin. So I got this from Beauty Bay and it was on sale, of course. I only really buy things on Beauty Bay when they're on sale now. I got the shade number two. Um, I've kind of learned from my previous purchases on Danessa Myrick stuff is that her stuff can be super duper pale and... I was a bit hesitant to buy this in the beginning because I don't feel like it's going to give me a whole load of coverage because I really want to always like cover this stuff up but we'll see how it goes because um, I'm going to use a sponge on one side and on the other side I'm going to use a brush and I'm using my Nightmare Before Christmas. This has gone absolutely massive. I didn't realise how big <laughs> it's going to be so I'm actually just going to do one side of my face kind of per time so I'm just going to go on this side with the sponge first I don't know how much to put on I've seen a couple of videos but I haven't really seen a massive amount of reviews um, so let's get this on and let's pray that it gives me some coverage okay definitely does what it says on the tin which is like a dewy like skin tone and uh, like skin tint um, and there's not really any coverage I mean a lot of it is obviously <laughs> On my sponge but what I'm gonna do is just just see what the other side will do with a brush and I think the amount that I put on was quite decent I don't think um, if I don't put on enough it won't work but I'm just taking my unicorn cosmetic brushes and I'm just gonna tap it in okay so I mean looking at the difference I feel like this is definitely giving me a little bit more I wouldn't really say that the sponge would give it a whole load of coverage because it's still looking a little bit bare so I'm actually going to add a bit more on this side and then we'll continue okay so now we're going to go on to concealer and I have the NARS concealer I don't even know what this is called I guess it's the soft matte complete concealer and the shade Madeline so I have wanted to get a new concealer for a while and I think this is good for like spot concealing as well so I'm just going to kind of add it in a couple of bits I'm using a brush because it's such a small pot I just want to kind of get a little bit here and there so I'm going to use it in my usual places which is of course under my eyes so I'm just going to see if it will give me a bit of coverage because my eyes aren't looking as kind of grey as they used to this is looking quite yellow there was a woman at um where I bought it she kind of it was quite weird because I wanted to get the benefit um boing concealer or stretch concealer and because they had seen the the person had seen that I had rosacea and the type of things that I wanted that just suggested that I get this NARS one um which is happy I'm very happy to kind of take people's advice especially who know more about makeup than I do a bit more in the professional stance um, but what I wanted to do was like a bit of spot concealing and just like just really help my under eyes um, 
I don't think the shade, I think the shade is a bit too yellow, um, which I think might be all right. We're just gonna kind of cover bits here and there, but I think for under eyes, it's looking quite brightening actually. I think we'll see how it lasts. I don't have a setting powder today because I never really set my, pow my, set my face with um, powder when I'm doing these kind of looks for quite a short amount of time. Um, but, I mean, it's looking all right. It, it doesn't look anything special, does it? I don't think it does. Um, I'm just gonna let the color settle in. So we're gonna go in with a cream blush. So talking of high end, I've got another YSL product. So this is the um, Lip and Cheek Balm Tint in the shade, I think it's called New Flush. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna add like the tiniest amount on my cheeks. I'm not gonna go crazy because um, I have a powder brush, a powder highlighter. Um, and blush that I want to use. So I'm just going to take a small amount on. Um, this is, ooh, I don't want to use too much because I, I think these are really, really pigmented. So I'm just going to tap it on my cheeks and see how we go. That's taken off a bit of my makeup. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit more. I might just add some on my sponge because this is really dry. I don't know if there's something wrong with this. Thing is, the only reason that I bought this was number one, it was on sale, <laughs> and number two, um, I really like the highlighter. Like the highlighter from the YSL um, collection is absolutely stunning, and I thought, let me just see if the blush is going to be the same. But I feel like this has kind of let me down slightly. It's very dry. I don't know. I mean, I know it's a balmy tint, so it probably. I would have thought it would have been quite softening, and it would have been um, quite liquidy. Um, but no, I mean, it's given me a slight tint, nothing too special. It's taken off a bit of my makeup, which is a little bit annoying because I did not want that to happen, obviously, because this tint is not like a higher coverage anyway. So let's go on to more blush and highlighter. So for my birthday, my friend kindly gave me the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beautifying Face Palette. I was honestly like screaming when she gave it to me. I had wanted this for so long. And for my birthday, she did get me a couple of other Charlotte Tilbury stuff. And I've wanted to get this for ages. So I was just so freaking happy when she's like, oh, I got you one more thing. <laughs> two for my friends are just too kind. I'm so blessed to have them. Um, but yeah, it comes with two blushes and two highlighters. So I am of course gonna use one of each today. Um, so I think with blush, I'm gonna go in with this shade, which I think, can use all of them it's like on the back it's like telling you how to use them but I don't think I'm going to use all that's just a little bit of an overload um so there's no name so I'm just going to use this shade just here I'm taking a flat brush and I'm just going to see how we go and just tap this in okay that's really cute it's very um buildable so it's not like it's intense straight away I think they're very um kind of powder they're very well I wouldn't say they're very powdery I feel like they're kind of um like very very embossed in so they're a little bit dry but let's go in with the highlighter I'm going to try this one just here because that one I think this one might be slightly darker for me but I'm still going to use it like I'm obviously gonna <laughs> never not use it but let's go in with this one and let's see how that goes on very nicely it's not too um, glittery, which I want in highlighters. Like, I've never really been a fan of literal like chunks of glitter in a highlighter because I feel like it really emphasizes uh, my skin texture because of my rosacea and I have a skin picking condition. I feel like if I add products that are gonna be very like, like, you know, dehydrating on my face, I feel like it really emphasizes my pores. But I feel like here, it's looking quite nice. It's not looking, um, too weird but I feel like my tint is slightly kind of dipping into my lines and I know as I'm getting older I'm going to get a lot more fine lines but I mean look so far everything's looking okay so we're going to go on to the eyes I'm just going to quickly go off camera use my Urban Decay primer and then we'll continue okay and for my eyes I'm going in with the Tartlet Toasted palette so Sephora had a bit of a discount I believe it was probably just before Christmas and I decided to pick up this palette because I think it was like half price and I have not tried any eyeshadow palettes by Tarte I don't think I've ever tried any of their eyeshadow palettes and I thought you know what even though this is like the most basic 
boring kind of palette i just really wanted to try it out because yeah i just wanted to see what their quality is like i still haven't tried their um what's it called their like concealer i have tried the one of their other ones which i guess is quite nice but i don't think the hype is like there these days but um yeah let's go in with the shade warmth just here and that is going to be my transition shade that is a lot of like kind of kickback so we're just going to take that just in the crease one thing i've got to mention this palette is very scented so if you're not a fan of scented products this is probably not up your street but i mean it um reminds me the smell reminds me of the like Too Faced palettes that have scents in them and sometimes I don't mind them but I've got to be a bit careful when it comes to like my face but I mean I don't think that this is going to affect my eyes but um, we'll go in with Fireside just here which is like a chocolate brown and I'm going to make that to kind of a bit of a wing and whoa that's pigmented all right I'm not going to go too heavy because I feel like that is a bit of an overload let's blend this out okay that's the fine I mean that's the fine <laughs> I'm telling Italian um it's slightly patchy I mean I don't know if this brush is probably the best for it I mean I can't really blame a brush but I mean we're looking all right we're just going to continue so let's go in with cozy just here and we're going to take a nice brush and we are just going to put that in my crease just here because like I said this palette isn't exactly the most imaginative but it's still nice for like an everyday kind of like if you want your smoky eyes or if you just want uh, if you're going for like a night out and you don't want anything colorful um I think normally it's about 45 pounds this palette but I definitely got it for like maybe like 15 pounds or something again I think because this is an older palette, Sephora might have been wanting to like get rid of it or something. But as Sephora is now already available in the UK in like two locations and soon to be three, um, it's just interesting that all these brands are like coming here and um, I can finally like try things I wanted to try after so long. Uh, let's go into Sunset, which is our shimmers. And we're just going to see if this does anything because I'm going to take it on a flat brush. And yep that's nice that's very pretty all right lovely i think that's looking quite nice i don't think it's um i think some of the shade like darker shades could be a bit more packing a punch but i think it's all right so let's go on to mascara so i have um by huda beauty this is their Le legit lashes um i got the mini size because i think yeah when i got this it was like 10 pounds at boots so every tuesday boots do like certain products for £10 and this and I got their makeup remover cleanser which is so freaking good I love it so um yeah this has got two sides to it this has got the volume and the curl and lengthening on each side so I might just try the volume because I mean mascaras are very hit and miss for me I do always curl my lashes and my lashes are very thick I'm very blessed with nice long lashes but I just feel like some mascaras just do not um, do much for me. So I'll see how this one works out. Okay, that's definitely uh, volumizing. I mean, especially for my lower lashes, I feel like those always get the better end of the stick as opposed to my top ones because they are looking pretty lengthy. They're just kind of drooped slightly. So let's go on to lips and we are going in with MAC. So this is one of their new lipsticks. This is like their kind of um that like powder to cream i think and this is in the shade uh coca kisses and i got this on sale again i would rarely buy a lot of these type of things unless they were on a sale so yeah it's a bit kind of like it looks like it's a balm kind of thing but let's see how this looks all right that's a really nice shade i think it's kind of reminiscent of like that Clinique Black Honey or whatever it's called that everyone went insane for. But that's more of like, um, I thought that was more like a bit of a glossy type of thing. But this is like an actual like lipstick and the colour's really nice. I think it's a bit dry in the beginning but once you kind of get it going it becomes quite balm like. And I think it might take a while for it to actually settle down. But this is my finished look. Let me know what you guys think. I think the only thing that's kind of let me down is this which... I'm a bit 
surprised at because I honestly thought it would be a lot more like packing a punch but I might have to see um, if further down it's just to kind of dry there and then we'll eventually get better we shall see everything else is fine I mean the skin tint which I was always a bit hesitant about I'm kind of growing on it the only issue I have as always is my top lip but that's because I haven't got my fan on I haven't got an open window so I'm just very warm like in my flat in general but I think everything is kind of look very nice it's a kind of like I don't know like a toasted evening kind of thing if that makes sense but let me know what you guys think what have you tried recently that's kind of high end that stuck out for you and thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe because if i'm not uploading every time i get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because i'm always active on there and appreciate you sitting down listening to me ramble on i'll see you guys very soon Bye bye mm -hmm.